Not sure why there's a race car sitting in my garage. Interesting. Hmm. Out of gas again. Every time. Boy. God, every time. Out of gas. I don't know why. That's probably why I'm out of gas all the time. Do, 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 do. Oh, God! Ooh, a nice dually, though. I need one of those. Cold, cold, cold. Come on, come on, come on. 25 degrees out. All right, real quick, I want to give a shout out to one of my buddies, Ripatuned. He's been working on his purple Challenger. So this could have been David. This could have been Dave. And it would have been really cool to do it, but he wanted to do Mustang, which weighs lighter and has more potential. But uh, so Ripatune basically has a purple Hellcat exactly like David's. And he decided to go a single turbo setup and he finally started it. How fucking dope is that? So he's still on stock motor. Um, he's not on a stock transmission, but obviously it's a single turbo. So it's kind of like, actually it's the exact same as David's build because David still has a stock Mustang motor. So um, obviously like a Hellcat is more expensive because you know, Hellcat's like 60, 65 grand. David's like, what, 56 grand, 57 grand. So then to take all that off and then put a turbo kit, um, a lot, because a lot of this is custom, but David could have done it. So it's all good. But shout out to Ripatune. That's just dope. Look at that. Woo! Nasty. Supercharged. 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 All right, what's up, Dream Chasers? What's up, Wrench Gang? Kevin Van Voris checking in for another video for you guys today. So, uh, right now we're headed to Best Buy. I'm going to go buy another GoPro. So, I have the Hero 7 Black, which I'm using right now, and I, I like it for vlogging actually. And with the app and stuff that they have, it works really well. So, what I'm going to actually go do is I'm going to go pick up a Hero 8. GoPro because I want to have two cameras when I'm filming and especially for this weekend um, in Atco, New Jersey when I'm going to be racing the Charger and I'll be doing a bunch of videos with other people and I want to be able to slap my GoPro on different cars and be able to record at the same time so I'm going to get a second camera and uh, I'm going to start actually giving a fuck about my YouTube channel <laughs> I, I kind of just do this on the side but I kind of had an epiphany this week and I was like you know what I should start taking this a little more serious so I'm gonna start taking YouTube a little more serious I'm gonna actually try and editing try editing uh, my videos starting uh, when I get back from Atco so I'm actually gonna go look at a laptop as well I have a Mac right now but it's older I've had it since I was in college so it's like five or six years old it still works great but I don't know if it'll process everything as quickly as it should so I don't know I'm gonna go look at some laptops maybe trade my old one in I don't I don't really know I haven't <laughs> the Apple laptop was the first laptop I've ever had so I don't I don't know hashtag 
broke boy problems. But uh, anyway, so we're gonna look at that real quick. Um, <clears throat> some of you guys know I had to put one of my dogs down. Her name was Coco. She was a rescue boxer. I put her down Sunday. Uh, she had cancer, and I really thought we'd have a couple more months with her. So Sunday night was really rough, and uh, Monday was rough too. So I didn't make a video on Monday. I just I wasn't really in the mood, and uh, I share a lot of my life on YouTube. So for those of you guys who care, that's what happened. But one of my clients, she uh, gave this to me today. It's a hand painted uh, picture of Coco that she did. It's uh, really nice. Her name's Danielle, and so this is. Uh, <laughs> I can count on both hands how many times I've cried in my life and uh, putting a dog down like, I don't, I don't know, like humans, it's, it probably sounds really fucked up, but like humans, I'm, I'm okay with, with people dying usually, but like dogs, man, it, it gets me every fucking time and uh, this year we've had to put two dogs down and both of them were my rescues and I'll say this forever, I think when you rescue a dog, uh, they're the best dogs in the world. So if you haven't rescued a dog before, you wouldn't understand. But those of you guys who have rescued a dog, they're just extremely loyal and they're some of the best dogs that I've, I've ever had. And I had to put both of my rescues down this year. One got like this rare eye infection and he got blind and then she had cancer. And I really thought we had a little more time. We got back from Chicago and she was really not doing well and she couldn't stand up and shit and it was just fucking awful and like I don't want to see my dog go through any pain or anything like that and it was the saddest thing and I, I'm sorry to like make this a sad video at the beginning but it was the saddest thing because you know you should in my opinion when you put a dog down you should always be there with them it's hard <clears throat> but you should always be there with them but it was the first time in my entire life and I've had boxers all my entire life that I've seen a dog <clears throat> she was laying there she couldn't really move and right before she put her down like I'm looking at her in the eyes and she started crying and I told Rachel I was like oh my god she's like crying it was it's fucking sad it was terrible and uh, I'm sorry to like but YouTube is kind of like my outlet like uh, I'm not a very emotional person already so <clears throat> this is kind of how I whether I'm mad or pissed off or in a good mood or bad mood or sad or whatever YouTube is kind of how I vent a little bit sometimes so Sorry to make it a little sad part at the beginning of this video, but uh, I just kind of want to give you guys a little update. But anyways, uh, thank you for everyone who uh, sent me nice messages. I, I really appreciate it. I mean, Rachel, I really do. Because uh, dogs are like kids since I don't have any kids. Uh, anyways, so I'm going to go to Best Buy. <clears throat> I'm going to go look at a couple things, and then I'll let you guys know what I get. But this video is mainly about why I'm switching from pump E85 uh, or E85 in general to pump gas. So out here in Texas where I live, <clears throat> we have 91 octane, we don't have 93. We have 94 at like the race gas station, but I don't see the point in paying like 450 a gallon for that. So my car is tuned by Livernoy Motorsports up in Dearborn, Michigan. Uh, on <clears throat> on uh, E85, it makes almost 900 wheel horsepower. So I'm putting it back on pump gas simply for the fact that when it's really, really cold, like today it's 25 degrees, it takes, and I, this is like a first world problem, but it takes a minute for the car to start. Like if you're on E85, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You have to sit there and sit there and sit there and sit there and sit there, and then finally it'll start. So to make it easier on my car and easier just in general, and especially like filling up around town, now that I'm not gonna be racing anybody in town, um, I'm just gonna put it back on pump gas. Usually with pump gas, like on, with Hellcats, you, you, you lose like, I don't know, 50 to 75 wheel horsepower probably. It's probably somewhere in there, maybe closer to 50. It's not too much, so okay, so I only have 850 or 840 wheel horsepower, oh no. Um, and so that's really the only reason I'm doing it, um, <clears throat> is really just because it's cold out and it, just, it takes a while for my car to start and you know, when I'm leaving at 4.30 in the morning to go to my gym to go train people and open my gym, I don't wanna be sitting in my garage like fucking with it every single time. Um, and especially like when you auto start, <clears throat> if you try to auto start on E85 and it doesn't start, then you gotta go in the car and try and fuck with it 60 different times. So it's really just a convenience thing for me. And that's why I'm switching from E85 pump gas to 91. And that's the nice thing about having flex fuel. Um, now on the charger, I used to have flex fuel, but now that it has a built motor, 
um, I am no longer on flex fuel. I just am running straight E85. So, <clears throat> so when the charger comes back after this weekend in Atco, it'll just be sitting in the garage for a while. And that's the only shitty thing is uh, winter came very quick this year. Usually, like, we don't have these temperatures till January, and we can still drive our cars on E85. But <clears throat> now that it's cold, you know, you don't want to be on drag radials when it's 25 degrees out, 23 degrees out. So, anyways, we're at Best Buy. I'm going to go look at some things and hopefully pick up some stuff just to kind of make my channel a little better because I want to actually start taking a little more serious. You know, I've always said I don't make really any money off YouTube, which I don't, but why not have, why not take a little more serious? You know what I mean? So, I'm going to try and take a little more serious, start editing a little more, or editing in general, and uh, try and make the channel a little better. So, this is the first step. We're going to go buy another GoPro. Okay, so, just real quick, I did look at some laptops. Um, I'm going to kind of figure out how I, like, trade mine in or whatever. Um, I don't even know if mine's worth anything anymore. <laughs> Probably not. But, I got the GoPro Hero 8. Um, I have the 7. So what I'm going to probably do is they come off like the little attachments like in January or something like that. They have like a light and a mic and all this other crap that you can get with it. But I saw in there they have like a little rig. So I'm going to try and look it up online. It's uh, like a vlogging thing. So you can have your GoPro. You can attach like a light to it and a microphone. So I'm going to look that up when I get home and see if I can get that before Atco because that would be cool, especially like when it's dark right now instead of having this ghetto ass light on. I can actually have like a light attached to it. So GoPro is coming out their own thing, but if I could already have like a rig, like a little nicer rig for it, that'd be kind of cool. So um, that's what I got. <clears throat> that's the update for today's video. So, um, oh, let me know if you guys, <laughs> I put the old intro back in and that David made, I just had to change the song obviously because it's a Travis Scott song. So it keeps getting like dinged every time. I guarantee none of you know who that artist is. If someone knows who that artist is, who's in the song, in the intro, I will PayPal you $1,000. David, you do not get to guess. Uh, I will pay you $1,000 if you know who it is. I guarantee you don't know who it is. But anyways, I hope to see you guys at Atco, New Jersey this weekend. I'm gonna be linking up with a lot of YouTubers, a lot of Instagram people, a lot of people in general. I'm excited to go finally race my car. Uh, they were putting on the brand new tires on the Charger uh, Hellcat today, aka Bagged Cat. I'm hoping and praying everything goes smooth, and uh, I am still on nitrous for those of you asking, <clears throat> so everything should be good to go. Uh, I'm gonna bring my own laptop. Livorno will have all their stuff there too, but you know we'll be logging the car, making adjustments on Friday, and then on Saturday, hopefully letting it run and just uh getting really excited about it so um i don't know i again i don't know if it's possible to run an 899 in a full weight hellcat charger especially but we're gonna get damn close so uh with the nitrous my car should be making like 1150 to 1200 horsepower to the wheels so i don't know man i guess we're gonna find out i'm pretty stoked about it so um, good weather, good track. It's going to be a lot of fun. Either way, whatever my car runs, I'm going to be happy about it. It's going to be a new personal best, guaranteed. And uh, I, either way, I'm excited. So if it's a 9.1 or 9.2 or whatever it is, I'll be excited. And I'm just going to be happy to get back in the driver's seat and have some fun again. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for supporting as always. That's it for today's video. Make sure to follow me at CaliBoyCamp on Instagram and on Snapchat. Thank you guys for watching. You guys are fucking awesome. Have a great day. I'm out this bitch.